Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at New Haven Town Station on the Seaford branch. That way is looking towards Seaford, and that way, with the South Downs in the background, is looking towards Lewis. Come here today for an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. The Miniature Railway we're going to is in that direction down there, so I'm going to walk off down there and find the Miniature Railway. The last time I came to this station was a couple of years ago when they were running a Class 50 rail tour called, um, what was it called, the Ore and More, or I think because it didn't go to Ore, it became the Ore No More. But anyway, if you want to see that, have a look at Lincoln screen now. That's the last time I was here. We're going to go down there where the level crossing is until not so long ago. There used to be a signal box there. Unfortunately, that's been demolished. I'm going to go off down there under the road bridge. Let's go and find this miniature railway. I've been walking for about 10, 15 minutes now and the place we're heading for, it's, um, it's a garden centre and it's also Paradise Park. So here we are, this is Paradise Park. Over there looks to be the garden centre. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find my way up here and we'll go in now. I understand quite often these days with garden centres, you know, there's various other things to see. Often when we go to garden centres for other miniature railways, there's usually quite a lot on. So there's various museums here. I'm not sure we're gonna have time to do all of them but obviously the main thing we've come here for is the miniature railway i also understand there's this sussex heritage trail which um i'll tell you more about when we get to there but i'm quite intrigued by that so yes here we are it says paradise park garden center let's go in and see what we find so i said there's other things to see here besides the miniature railway I've just paid to come into the place. The first thing I've come to is this Planet Earth Museum. So it looks as though we're going to walk through this before we get to the Miniature Railway. At the end of this, I believe, is the Sussex Heritage Trail. I'm not going to show you all the exhibits, but it's quite some quite fascinating stuff to see. Various um, sea urchins and enemies and starfish, as I say. It's not my specialist area, but it's interesting to see. Um, but I genuinely think most of this, if you want to see, you'll have to come and visit for yourself but there are some quite cool things look so just from under the sea we're now this is like this is the sun so it's quite exciting and uh, if we go down here we'll continue on um this is all about the solar system planet earth looks like inside and then we'll walk through here more of the solar system i'm feeling it's going to get quite exciting in a moment oh look there's all these Crystals. I mean, my granddad was very interested in crystals. I've, I can see the fascination. I don't know much about them, but I remember he always had crystals around his house. And uh, we go through here. Oh, look, this looks fun. There's a <laughs> maybe jump as a dinosaur up there. Um, beware, T Rex, press, repress it and see what happens. See if it'll do anything. <laughs> This thing, look, it's um, an earthquake simulator. So I think if I stand on here, and if I press this for two seconds, the ground should start shaking. So let's see. Earthquakes are among the most destructive natural events that occur on the planet. They serve as a reminder that even today, Earth is still in a constant state of change. Um, yeah, here we go, we, we are. The ground is, is shaking. I nearly dropped the camera then, so yeah, that's, that was quite fun. We go through here, and oh look, and I promise you dinosaurs, more dinosaurs, look at this one. Yeah, so there's one dinosaur. There's um, all sorts of exhibits telling you about various dinosaurs, so that's quite fun. Look cute little dinosaurs just hatched out of an egg and go through here but tell, like I say tells you more about dinosaurs there's another one there and then here there's a triceratops it's massive So quite a cool way to start our miniature railway video and we go through like i say i'm not going to show you everything oh another dinosaur can't not can't really not look at the dinosaurs so come on. quite 
quite cute that one, I like that one. So let's keep going round here. We're now coming into um, more about fossils. I think we left the dinosaur world. So like I said, I know I am going through all this quite quickly, but um, it's, I, I don't know too much about it. So I just feel, I feel someone else who knows about this should be making this video, but I want to walk through. We're now going, yeah, so the various um, fossils of mammoths and everything. Uh, so we're here. Early human beings, and then we'll keep going around here and um, here around there. Going through worlds of fossils. Oh, yeah, look, there's fossils here to see. So, oh, very interesting. Look at those little fossils of fish. That's quite cool. And I'll continue on around here. And then we kind of get to more, feels like my kind of thing, ships. It's HMS Victory there. So we're sort of coming into slightly more modern times, although still a few hundred years ago, but you know, it's, and what's this, a rainforest? Cool, look at this. In a belt around the globe, tropical rainforest form a rich treasury of life. Like London, they help to make- And there's a Native American Indian. So, all quite fascinating. Keep going around here, around here. There's an otter there. And it does make you wonder how long this is going to go on for. I mean, you could spend ages if I was to read all of this. It's rather fascinating. But I'm trying to get us to the miniature railway. Oh, and then we, now it's uh, on to spacemen. Uh, what are we going to find around here? Oh, and then we come outside through this door. And then um, the plant house and gardens. Let's go up over this bridge. What am I going to do? I'm going to have a cup of tea perhaps and before I walk around anymore but if we go up here I can begin to show you the next part of the video so that's the show look down there see there's a model of Brighton Pavilion and if we look over there that looks like just the cathedral so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then we'll look around this part of the place It's Chichester Cathedral. I've never been in the real Chichester Cathedral or been to Chichester for that matter. I only passed through on the train. It's rather unusual seeing the way the flowers are creeping over the top. We're going to walk through here and see various model buildings. They're all from Sussex. They might not exist necessarily now like this one. It's a Roman villa, but they're all buildings from Sussex. There's Chichester Guildhall. It always tells you what they are because some of them you may not necessarily know. Some are uh, more well known than others. So here we are, we have a chimney, it says it's a Southwick power station. Here it says Stopham Bridge. And now to a building that probably most people will know is this one here, Brighton Royal Pavilion. It does look rather funny though, in amongst all these trees. It's really hot in here, it's a summer's day and we are in a greenhouse. And it's gonna get even warmer because now we're gonna leave the buildings of Sussex, there'll be some more later. We're going into this tropical greenhouse it's really quite quite nice with the water and everything um but yeah it's warm so we've got to make our way through here and get out um slightly breaking the fourth wall here i'm going to be really careful this is the third time i've done this take as i walked through last time those giant leaves brushed against the camera and switched it off so let's take this is the first time i've done this take because of those leaves I'm, I'm going to be really careful from now on where i point the camera but look all these leaves it's really quite fascinating. I know it's meant to be a miniature railway video and I promise you we will get to the miniature railway but we've uh, <laughs> this is all too exciting to not include and um, there'll be a few more railway things when we get outside so we're just going to follow our way round here lots of big tropical plants and now we have a load of cacti and then we can go through here it's going to change again. We're going to go from tropical to oriental. We're going to walk around this rather nice looking oriental garden, which looks, looks good. Look at that. It's lots of, you can't see so much because of the uh, reflection of the roof. There's lots of goldfish in there. Just to prove this is a Japanese garden because look, there's a painting of Mount Fuji in the background. Well, oh, look at all those goldfish. Lots and lots of goldfish. 
very relaxing watching the goldfish and listening to the sound of the water running. It says don't feed them. I noticed as you came in, you could buy little packets of fish food, but it says not to feed these fish, but I think we'll come across some more fish later on. Yeah, look at them. Quite a lot of them. So that's a Japanese garden, as I say, Mount Fuji. I'll have to go to Japan one day. Let me come out here. Oh, yeah, now it's not. It's a lot cooler now. Now I've come outside. Um, that's better. It was getting a bit hot in there, but I'm not complaining. It's summer's day. Now we're in these more tranquil British style gardens, but I think we've got one other thing that's uh, going to be a bit of fun. Should we have a few more dinosaurs? Dinosaur safari? Looks exciting, doesn't it? Um, oh wow, look at this. There's a huge <coughs> roaring triceratops. This is probably the strangest miniature Royal Britain video I've done. As I say, we are a few minutes into the video now and we still haven't seen a miniature train. I promise you it's coming. But you know, when you've got all these dinosaurs to see, you um, feel you've got to see them. And they're massive, look. There's a woolly mammoth over there. So, all very exciting. Just, um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I knew I was coming to a railway uh, garden centre which had a few additional attractions. It really is the kind of place you could come for a good family day out. I came down on the train. Um, the walk from the station wasn't anything special. Another dinosaur roaring away at me. I don't think this dinosaur's very happy with me for some reason. Maybe it didn't want to be on camera. Uh, but if you drive here, there's a large free car park and there's um, a couple of tea rooms, there's a restaurant. So it's the sort of place... I do have the feeling I'm not welcome amongst the dinosaurs. They're all roaring at me. Um, perhaps they roar at everyone. So, yeah. Um, let's get out of here. But it's quite cool to see. Yeah, it's amazing to think back millions of years ago. I mean, the sort of history I'm interested in tends to be more recent history. But to think millions of years ago, these beasts roamed the earth. It's, uh, yeah, just quite fascinating. And yeah, the woolly mammoth, okay, not a dinosaur, but it's massive. And that's a baby T Rex. Um, anyway, we're going to go out of here now. We're going to go into the gardens and we're going to see some more Sussex buildings. And then, as promised, we're going to find a miniature railway. There's a bear there. The, they look quite cute, the baby bears. All right, where should we go? Okay, yeah, hopefully no more being roared at. We're gonna walk around the gardens. Ah, oh, yeah, this is, this suddenly feels a bit more um, my kind of thing. Look, there's a model there of Battle Abbey. I've never been to Battle Abbey. We'll have to go there one day, somewhere I could go and make a video. Um, it's just somewhere I've never got round to visiting. And this is, it, it, literally every corner you go around at this place, it's different. It now has a very sort of beachy feel, which is typical of Sussex. Oh look, and there's a, there's a model of a lighthouse, and a nice painting of the cliffs. Oh, that's cool, look. There's like a little wave machine there, simulating, you know, being on a harbour somewhere with all these old boats. And, um, oh yeah, look. Back to the models of the buildings. New Haven lifeboat station. Um, the gardens go on quite a bit. And I can just see over there where that fence is, there's a sign saying beware of trains. So we must be nearly at the miniature railway. If you have a look there, you can see what lifeboat looks like when it's being launched. We're gonna go around through these rose gardens and um, there's a garden just over there I want to I like the look of oh look at this this is this is Brambra Castle not much of it left but one day perhaps someone else could go and make a video so there's various trails you can do um so it's a short medium full trail should we just go a different way <laughs> let's go down here now oh, that goes back to dinosaur safari we don't necessarily want to go up there I want to go up to this garden because this looks newly done oh, yeah, that's really nice isn't it Here, there's a big tunnel down there, and this it's like a dinosaur over there. Not sure.
along for the sound of the main road. It feel really, really nice and peaceful here, but you know, it is, it's nice and very nice place to, to come and visit. I'm glad. I've deliberately chosen to visit on a weekday outside of school holidays. I imagine it probably does get a lot busier if you were to come here on a weekend or weekday and holidays. Oh look, it's one of my favorite trees, a maidenhead tree, or Latin name is Glinclo Belova. And what I really like about these trees are the shape of the leaves. It's like the leaf is in the shape of a maiden's head. There's the entry shed for the miniature railway. So I feel like <laughs> this promised miniature railway. I'm actually getting there. Uh, where should we go? If we cross, so it says danger that trains cross and not to walk along the track. Well, we won't walk along the track. We'll simply cross the track. Look both ways, make sure there's not a train coming. Uh, this is a good view of the engine shift. There it is. So we're crossing there. Uh, what we'll do, we've got up here, work our way around and then we'll finish up near the railway station. So there's, there's lots more lakes here. And look, you can actually buy fish food for 20 p and feed the fish. And the waterfall. Oh, yeah, here's, um, here's some railway related something look that believe it or not that's a train and that doesn't look like one no it's a daddy long legs and they the wheels of and the railway track were under the sea and it ran along in brighton and you traveled up there that must have been really quite cool well, i can just see the miniature railway track the seven and a quarter inch goes track the other side of the hedge it's not a particularly long railway but it seems to just disappear into everything oh look at that there's a model this is going to become i'm pretty much saying it's, a, it's a everything we see I should go and visit the real one. There is a model of Bodium Castle. I was near Bodium Castle the other day because I went to Kentney Sussex Railway's 50th anniversary gala, but I didn't have time to visit the castle. I did see the castle. So one day, we'll go and visit Bodium Castle. Now, where should we go? Oh look, there's like a, a temple up there. Um, honestly, I think that temple is on top of the railway. It's, there must be a tunnel. We'll find out when we go through there into this garden there is one model like i say i said at the beginning of the video i can't possibly show you everything but there's one model i do want to show you i've just got to find it and along here again danger train crossing let's make sure we're not crossing when there's a train coming um that's not a train coming cross here there's a big lake here. I think they're making a new path around that side of the lake. And then if you look here, nice, that's where the train will be traveling on there. So we'll see that, that part of the garden in a minute. And also we'll see some views from the train. Ah, yes, now, our Christian clergy house. We'll go around there and have a better look at that. And then we're gonna head over towards the cafe and see what we can find. So if we walk around here, we're into a, quieter part of the garden like I say I keep saying this somewhere else I need to visit in the future this is our Frishton clergy house I believe it was the first ever National Trust place there's a big lake over there now this is the model I was really looking forward to seeing um, no, it's Clayton Tunnel on the Brighton line with a train coming out so there isn't actually a model railway here um, I'm putting this in my book in my books this is a model village because lots of model buildings but there's not actually a working model railway got this so it's nice to see this is Clayton Tunnel on the Brighton line I've always been fascinated by that tunnel when I was a child the local estate agents ran a competition you had to draw a picture and I drew a picture of Clayton Tunnel and I won the competition and I got my picture put in the calendar so I've always been quite proud of Clayton Tunnel I've never actually stood though where you'd see that view I've been through it many times so that's Clayton Tunnel what we're going to do now though Finally, let's go and find the miniature railway, the, the actual train, because that's the whole point of coming here today. Um, it's a seven and a quarter inch gauge railway. It's quite a short railway, but you know, it looks quite fun to ride. And um, I believe it's been here since 1989. So we'll see what we find when we get there. Again, just make sure there's no train coming. And yeah, there's not a train coming. Go around here. That's quite nice. 
a windmill. Sit the mill. Where does this one go? Um, it's a bit of a maze, this place. You sort of wonder where, the, where all these paths take you to. Oh, this is nice. I'll go on for a bit of a tangent, so I said we'll go to the railway station. And now I'm just taking you off down here. Um, but we'll, we'll find our way round. Uh, let's go round here. Oh, okay, so there's more gardens over there, but I think let's go and find the railway. Look at that. The Mermaid Inn, that's in Rye. Let's go to the real one and have a pint. There's a, another big lake down there. The camera's probably not going to pick it out. I can see some massive fish down there. Ah, yes, here we go. I can see the railway station. Um, I don't think this is where you get into the railway station. We should get a view of the loco if we look over this gate. I'm going to have to then go and inquire about buying my tickets when they start running. If you look there, that looks like a Mardike Hymec, later to become a Class 35. It's got some Mardike carriages. So I'm going to go and inquire about having a ride.
having had a ride on the train, I'm just having a look at the ducks and the rather large fish down there. And I'm just going to have one little walk around the garden before finishing this video. I'm just going to finish up there because I like the view. Those hydrangeas look nice, don't they? So I've really enjoyed my visit here today. It's really worth coming to visit if um, you, know, you can get here by train, as I did. It might be, if you're in the area with a car, it might be a bit easier if you come by car. Roses look nice. So it's a really nice place whether you, know, you want to bring children here and have a nice day out or if you're an adult like me who just likes going to these kind of places and as I say there's a garden centre and um, there's restaurants and everything so it's, it's a good place to come for a good day out. As for if the train's running I believe it runs every day I did ring them yesterday just to check and confirm so it might be worth you bringing just if you, the train is your main thing so I hope you enjoyed this video do come visit Paradise Park I've had a great afternoon here thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment goodbye